Hello, my name's Joel. Welcome to a BBC News report. Hello, my name is Don Crozier. My report is about the DACA canteen. The main chef is Mr Owen. He he has a team of 12 staff members. The school has won many awards for healthy eating. In 2014, the canteen won the Recipe for Healthy Award. The canteen offers good value for money with variety men menus they ser- service things from sandwiches to sweet and sour chicken the main menu has a lot of choices for all different tastes they also serve a variety of fresh fruits frozen smoothies and dessert the canteen has a food hygiene rating of five which is the highest rating they can be given thank you Hello, my name is Matty MacDonald and I am reporting on the DACA ski trip. This happens once a year and anyone can go on it. You can try skiing and snowboarding in Italy and improve your technique. Thank you for listening. At DACA we have stalls for business studies and they also have stuff like pencils, pens and other equipment during breaks and lunches and students at DACA buy things from them. They use business study skills and you can use your skills to make a stall and you can open your own business when you're older. And we have also done a cupcake stall in the past and we have raised about £50 and it all went to charities. Hello, my name is Adam and I'm going to talk to you about DACA Live Lounge. At DACA Live Lounge, there is a lot of music. It gives a, a chance to show the public and parents the chance to see their child's talent. The, the students play lots of different instruments like drums, guitar, bass, vocals, piano. They do different music like rock, pop and, o- and other music. The people work so hard in putting effort in practice, into practice. One of the students called Reese, he said it, it's a good idea to make a performance to help people with the GCSEs. One of the students called Adam has been playing drums since year seven. He has got his own drum kit at home and practices quite a lot at home and scribble. Hope you have enjoyed my report, Adam Hayes. Hello, my name is Joel Astley and I am reporting on the Afrodaka visit to Uganda. Mr Earnshaw, Miss Mackleyman and 13 sixth form students recently travelled to Uganda to help out in local local schools in Kampala. The students spent two years fundraising to make sure the trip could go ahead smoothly. They travelled by plane and spent two weeks at schools in Kampala. All the students and staff worked incredibly hard and were a credit to the academy. They worked with the Akoli community in the shanty town. They are a displaced community because of the war. They also went to Mitan- Mitiana which is a few hours north from Kampala. The team spent three nights camping there and taught in a school called Pease. It is a boarding school, so therefore many of the students board, but others will have to walk a number of miles every day to get to school. In the Akoli community, the residents are very basic and often have to pay for their water. They live very close to each other, and usually have to share toilets with other members of the community. In most houses, the children will sleep in one room on the floor. There's a school which was a simple chicken shed. The DACA staff and students taught the community children basic maths and English. They also sang songs with them and played various games. The students found it very upsetting to see children living like this and said how in this country we take education for granted. Another student said that it made them sad as she thought she had a bad life. Hello Millie. Hello. Have you been doing cooking here at DACA? Yeah. What have you been making? We've been making different foods with the teachers. Have you made apple crumble yet? Yeah. Was it good? Yeah. Did everybody at home like it? Yeah. And who helps you with cooking? Uh, all the teachers and most of the students. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, I'm, my name is Damon. I'm at Eight Offside, Junior Needs Charity Office. Which t- charity does the money go to? 
So it goes to various different projects across the UK um, that help to fund children, disadvantaged children. People join in. We have thousands of people across the UK that join in um, to support children in need through fundraising, through donations, through doing challenges for us and also just sending lovely letters out to us. So we raise money through various ways but the ones I focus on are different events that are 24-7 throughout the year. Where does the idea come from? So we have an amazing team, our marketing team, they, they generate ideas and how what we show to the public and what we want to show to them. We have our editorial team as well who make sure that we're doing great storytelling. How do you raise money for children in need? So that again, with what I work with, that would be through a variety of different events that we do. So I'll talk to you a bit about Gunco. So Gunco's got the biggest inflatable slide in the world. It's really, really cool. It's a 5K event and you can run, walk it, it's family friendly. And we have children bouncing around on bouncy castles for us and they pay for their ticket and that money goes towards children in need. Um, BBC Children in Need work all around the UK. Last year, they, um, they, they raised 46.6 million to help 48,000 disadvantaged children. That is the highest they've saved so far. Um, they've been doing it by doing fundraising cakes and the TV show. Hi, my name is Ellie and thank you for watching all about our Pudgy video. And this is the Decker one. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you learned some great facts about children in need. I hope you'll do it this year. Bye! Bye. That's all we have time for here at DACA. Join us soon for more news.